there any advice for people running their CBD company and, and what's the difference from between that and running a cannabis company? Yeah, sure. So on the CBD side, I mean, we have CBD products in the cannabis company too. So CBD is actually a little vague. Sometimes we call it the open market side um, because, you know, hemp CBD products can be sold worldwide. So that's the open market. For our open market hemp CBD products, uh, you know, the first thing I would say is because of the regulatory scheme that we operate under, it's just much easier. Uh, it's less expensive. Um, there's a lot less compliance. Um, you know, the permitting, the licensing, it's all just a lot simpler and less expensive. Uh, so that's a great advantage. Um, I would say, you know, in comparison to the cannabis industry, the largest disadvantage is that the competition is even stiffer. Um, you know, I don't know how many hemp CBD brands there are in the world right now, but it seems like it's countless with more coming out every day. Um, and so uh, in, the, in the hemp CBD world, it's hard to make a splash. Um, it would take a lot of capital uh, for someone to start a hemp CBD brand and then get their name out there nationwide in front of all of the other brands that are pushing themselves right now. Um, I think that's the biggest challenge on the hemp side is there, is, there are just so many brands out there, um, you know, that are really pushing themselves hard online, on Facebook, on Google, everywhere you can think of, you know, you've got hemp CBD specialty shops, you've got big box stores, it's, you know, sold at Fred Meyers, it's sold at Amazon, at Albertsons, everywhere, you know, that's a benefit if you're in the industry, you've got a lot of outlets, uh, but the challenge is just getting the consumer's attention because there's a million brands out there. So it's it's a lot easier to get into, uh, you know, and that's a benefit. And it's uh, it's less expensive and uh, it's a simple, simpler regulatory scheme. I think that, you know, there's there's probably not as much opportunity for growth unless you are seriously capitalized. So that's like seven figures are over at this point. Yeah, I mean, I would think to make a splash, you know, to make a real splash like we'd like to make uh, for online marketing, we would need a seven-figure marketing budget. Just by itself. Yep. So you'd need like three, three, four million dollars to give it a good go. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. You know, so I said it's less expensive and that's for, the, you know, the man, the starting the company, the compliance and the, you know, the manufacturing, the products and all that's going to be less expensive than on the cannabis side. But yeah, marketing is, is a whole nother beast. Mm -hmm.